Hello, this is Will Dodd from Oconee River GYSTC, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to view a lunar eclipse uh, in Stellarium using the bookmarks feature. Uh, so in my last video, I showed you how to download the bookmarks uh, from my website. I would suggest go ahead and do that first so that you can follow along with me in this video. All right, so... What you'll need to do is access the bookmarks feature in Stellarium by clicking Alt and the letter B on your keyboard. When you get there, you're going to look for the moon and you can see the date on this event is January 20th, 2019. So this is the date and time of a lunar eclipse that occurred around Atlanta, Georgia. Um, so we're going to view that event. So I'm going to double click on that. It's going to bring me to this sky and I'm just going to zoom out all the way to bring me to uh, see the full sky here. Now I'm going to press my right mouse button to deselect the moon. I'm also going to turn these meteor showers off. So let me do that real quick. And now I'm going to use my time controls. I'm going to press the button L about four times just to get time moving forward faster. So watch the moon, you should see it pass through the Earth's shadow, turn red, and then pass back out of Earth's shadow. There we go. I'm gonna press K and stop time and then run it backwards by pressing J. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in on the moon so we can watch that again, but closer up. So I'm gonna select the moon, press forward slash, and then I'm going to press L about four times just to run time forward. So you can see the moon beginning to get covered by the Earth's shadow, turning red, and then passing out of Earth's shadow. Now, I'm not going to get too much into the science of why that is, but I just want to show you how to do that in Stellarium. Now, another view that's really fun to show students, uh, if I zoom out here and I change the size of the moon to regular size. I have it nine times its regular size. Uh, it's really fun to check out what that looks like from the sun. So when you're looking from the sun at the earth and moon, it's cool to get that perspective. So, but first, before I do that, I need to click on sky and viewing options and I need to go to solar system objects. And I need to unselect or deselect scale the moon. So the moon goes back to its normal size, which looks something like that. Uh, I'm going to need to go back to sky viewing and click landscape and double click on the sun. This is going to take me to the sun where I can look back at the moon and the earth. Uh, so I've got those selected already. What I can do is press forward slash and zoom in there. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit because that's a little too close. So I'm using my mouse cursor to zoom out of that. I'm actually going to select the Earth and double click it so that it stays in the view. Now, if I press the L button, I can run time forward. Let me press space bar to snap it back into view here. And you can see the moon is already passing from behind the Earth. So let me run it backwards by pressing the J button a number of times and get the moon on the other side. So looking from the sun, this is what occurs in order to cause a lunar eclipse. So you see the moon passing through the Earth's shadow, passing behind the Earth in relationship to the sun. And so eventually that moon will come back out the other side of the, the Earth there. Yeah. So that gives a great view of what is actually occurring to create that lunar eclipse effect. So I'm going to zoom all the way back out and press Control H twice to get us back to our area. And uh, that's how to view a lunar eclipse using that bookmarks feature in Stellarium. So the next episode, we'll show you how to do the same thing, but this time with a solar eclipse. So I'll see you in the next video.